Good morning everyone. Today I'm going to be installing my new Zeus wireless backup camera. Finally. Before we get started, I do want to read you some specs on the Zeus backup camera. It is a self-install, about 10 minutes, so that's not too bad. It has a 170 degree wide angle lens, which is pretty cool. It does have night vision, and it also has rechargeable batteries. The batteries last about, I think, 30 days? Oh no, actually, I'm wrong, three months. So you only have to take it off and charge it every three months, which is awesome. Um, it is smartphone integrated, which means you can hook it to your phone or either tablet. I'm going to be hooking it to my tablet. And it is waterproof, IP67, fully protected from moisture, dust, and water. Here's the installation diagram. They're showing it being hooked to the license plate, but I'm not going to be doing that. But I'm probably going to find somewhere else to place it. Before finding the spot that I want to install it at, I'm going to go ahead and connect it to my device. That way I can make sure it works and also see where I want to place it in the best view. Alright, let's go over the compatibility. This device is compatible with most smartphones and tablets that support Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connections such as phones, iPads, Samsung, LG, HT, um, Google Nexus, and etc. Mine is a Samsung, so hopefully it will work. Alright, so right now I'm going to go ahead and get on my tablet, go to the Play Store, and download the Zeus app. There we have the Play Store. Alright, Zeus. There it is. And there it is. I went to the Play Store on my tablet and tried to download the Zeus app. Um, it's a wide range of things. It's backup camera, key finder, and there's just a bunch of different devices that all go on one app. But unfortunately, it does not work with my tablet. It said it was not compatible. So I'm going to have to get back to this. Um, I'm going to see if I can hook it to my phone. It didn't say Windows Phone, and I have a Windows Phone. I do have another tablet, so yeah, to be continued. Six months later, that footage was shot in Texas. We are now in Washington. I actually had to return that product because it would not connect to any device. What I did is I tried to connect it to all my devices and with no luck, I tried um, my friend's devices. So I couldn't find any device out there that it would connect to. And it said it was compatible with a lot of the devices, but yet I couldn't connect it. So I ended up returning it to Walmart. Funny thing is when I went to go look for a different backup camera, there were, or there was a sale table there and all those backup cameras were on the sale table at 50% off. But I don't understand why would you want to buy that um, product when it doesn't connect. At least that was my experience with it. Anyways, I ended up finding a new backup camera and this one is the awesome sauce. Sorry, my alarm. This one is a solar wireless backup camera and it does come with its own monitor right there. So I shouldn't have a problem connecting. Yeah, that's just weird. I don't know why it didn't connect. So odd. 
Anyway, since I'm at Terry and Scott's, I'm gonna go ahead and install this one. It says it installs in minutes, so hopefully it's much easier than the other one. I didn't even get to the installation part of the other one because it wouldn't connect to a device, so I found that to be a major problem. We're gonna go ahead and open this and see what it comes with. Here's the user guide right here. Hey, Moo Moo. <laughs> So no wires, it gives you the components, getting started, and all that good stuff. And here is the plate for the license. I'm not sure why you need that. Okay. It does come with its own monitor, which is awesome. And it's nice and small, which I like, because I have enough devices up here when I'm driving. I don't want to, it's too confusing to be looking everywhere. So that will be nice. Who are you talking to? I'm recording. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's like... <laughs> I should know better. <laughs> I'm talking to myself. No, I'm talking to, I'm talking to YouTube land. <laughs> Hey, okay, so these are the solar panels for the camera. Pretty cool. They're pretty compact. This is, I guess, the mount for the monitor. And we have some cables. Awesome. Some more mounting hardware. Some screws and stuff like that. Some M3, oh, what is it? The 3M tape and then some more mounting stuff. <laughs> All right, here is the item itself. Oh, can you see it? Focus. There you go. So here is the backup camera itself. Um, I'm gonna have to read and see how you hook up the solar panels. So there's two solar panels that come with it. And it says it does really good in shaded areas as well, even if it's cloudy, which is awesome. So I'll have two panels that go on each side of it or under it or whatever. So this is the backup camera. Hello, can you see me? <laughs> Pretty cool backup camera. It's nice and compact. I have a mirror plate right here that I can mount this bracket for the monitor to. That should be a good spot. So my camera is mounted right here. And I have my tablet down here. This is my GPS as well. This should be fairly easy. I think I'm gonna turn it a little bit so it's pointed my direction. Yep, it's on there good. I actually installed this little round mirror here so I could put suction cup things on the dash. It makes it easier. The only thing I don't like is that it is not USB, it is a DC charge, which takes up the whole outlet. It's more efficient if this was USB, because then I can I actually have um, one of these in here that has two USB outlets, and it would just be more efficient if it was a USB charger. Who uses these anymore? Here is the wire that I ran from the back. This is the positive and negative, so it's not that complicated. This red wire that you see here is the positive for my radio. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get that replaced. I purchased a new item and I'm gonna go ahead and install this. It's a three port DC plug, and it also has two USB ports. So this should fix my problem. So I just removed the fuse, that way there's no electricity running to it. All right, that wire is ready, that's the negative. Now that the wires are spliced, I need to go ahead and connect it. I bought these heat shrink connectors. These should work well. Since I'm hard wiring this device in, I'm going to go ahead and remove this plug. The one with the white stripe is the positive. It's the one in the middle, so I know this black one is the negative. That's what I need to connect to here.
Negative is connected. Now for the positive. Now that I have both negative and positive hooked up, time to reinstall the fuse. I want to check the power, make sure I didn't blow anything. Nope. All good. And these have buttons as well. Let me cut that off. These have but power buttons as well. Let me go ahead and plug this in and well and see if it works. Yep, I heard my tablet. Let's also plug in the monitor and see if that comes on. Yep, awesome, it works. Well, I have everything back in place and charging. So this is what it looks like. I like it. <laughs> So I can finally throw this junk away, yay. Next thing I need to do is just install the camera. Before I install the camera, I have to decide where the best spot for it is. This is the plate for when it goes on the license plate. This goes here, and the panels go on the side, the solar panels. And then the license plate slips in there. There's enough of a groove to where you can slip in there. But I'm not sure if I want to do this yet. Or if I want to do it on the license plate. Hold on. These are easy quick connects. They just basically slide in. Easy peasy. So yeah. Let me go take this back there and figure out exactly where I want to put it at. One more thing, the way I had to connect this is I had to go to the setup menu, hit up pair, and then once it was pairing, I had to connect the solar panels, and then it automatically connected, and then I could see. That's my view right now, but I'm going to go ahead and set it up in the back. I tried both bottom corners, also the middle, and it didn't work because there was something in the way. What I ended up doing is sticking it up high and pointing it down, and that is the best view. Also, I can see at each corner where when it was at one end or the other, I couldn't see one side if they were too close. This way I can see all, even if they're close to the vehicle. Awesome. I'm going to let you see what the view is. Oh, I actually have to point the camera down a little bit to point it too high. Since it's solar powered, it does have a power saving mode, which I thought was annoying at first because the monitor would cut off after 30 seconds, whether you're viewing it or not. But then there is a button that you can press and the monitor will come back on. Let me show you that button. There's a little symbol of a person with his arms up. You just press that button right there and the monitor and camera will cut back on. It's in a good position now. It's pointing more down, and I can actually see Cheslin and Moomoo playing right there. I like how I can cut the camera on at any time. I don't need to be applying the brakes because another purpose that I wanted it for was security, so I can just cut that monitor on if the motion light comes on and see what's going on back there. Yay, I'm so excited that it's connected. I do have some other projects that I'm working on and it is going to deal with lightening the load a bit um, and also reorganizing some stuff. I decided to give one of my kayaks to Terry and Scott. It is an inflatable two-person kayak. I never really used it. I think I used it twice the whole time I owned it. And it was just sitting there collecting dust. And I know they were wanting a kayak. And they can get a little pricey, the inflatable one. So I thought I would give that to them and they could use it. And there's some other things that I'm getting rid of. But I want to thank y'all for um, watching this video. And hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Until then, stay safe and onward bound. Mwah. Love y'all. Bye.